What's up everyone and welcome back to another YouTube video. Today I am reacting to or looking at inside the most expensive home in Malibu. So let's see what it's like, but before we do anything, make sure you follow me on Twitch and check out the new Clips channel. All the links will be down in the description below. But without further ado, let's look inside the most expensive house in Malibu. Malibu is home to some of the world's most luxurious mansions. In fact, the average home price is more than $3 million. But one <laughs> more than the average price, pr price? price is $3 million. <laughs> well, we better start saving, kids. We better start saving. One house stands out for its beautiful design and jaw-dropping price tag. Today, we're looking at the most expensive house in Malibu. Yeah, we are. This amazing home is worth an absolutely unbelievable $115 million. <laughs> Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> 150 million dollars. My God. Can you imagine the... Oh, imagine spending 150 million dollars on a house. Like, <laughs> you you have money to burn if you're doing that. I'm sorry, you have money to burn if you're, if you're doing that. My Jesus. My Jesus. It currently belongs to David Saperstein, the founder of Metro Networks, and his neighbours are... Never heard of uh, Metro Networks before in my life, but clearly he's doing well, so well done to you, sir. Well done. Well done. A-list movie stars like Leonardo DiCaprio and Courtney Cox. Ooh. The 12-bedroom, 14-bath home may be the most expensive in Malibu, but there are at least 45 homes listed above $10 million in this exclusive neighborhood. At least 15 are listed above $25 million, including a $65 million sculptural beachfront home with its own waterfall and a sprawling 70... I mean, that looks class for $65 million, like, <laughs> you know what I mean? A million dollar mansion dubbed the New Castle. Just the interior of this luxe home covers 10,646 square feet, and the house is placed on a roomy 2.6 acres of land. <laughs> This is making me quite depressed. This is making me this is making me quite sad, you know. <laughs> oh, we've got some work to do. Everyone start subscribing so I can get a house like this and you could all stay in it. Everyone can stay in it. <laughs> Making it even more appealing, the home has a huge swath of beachfront property, so the guests can go for a dip directly from their back door. Every Just think of the be the beach parties. When <laughs> you said something else. Just think of the beach parties if we can if everyone subscribes i can put on a load of ads get a load of sponsors so we could have parties here just saying just saying every room in the house has idyllic views of the ocean making it feel like a tropical vacation every day of the week the rooms include high ceilings and wall-to-wall -wall italian marble floors obviously it's important to keep such a valuable home secure so it has more than 40 cameras and an elaborate security system the centerpiece of the home i mean right i'm sorry they just showed a little <laughs> A little alarm like if my house was worth 115 million i would not just have a normal alarm like that i would have like security everywhere oh man what's wrong with these people they have too much money they have too much money in no sense is a spiral staircase surrounding an 18 foot crystal chandelier hanging elegantly from the ceiling when you get hungry you can visit the amazing kitchen with a nano glass island black stone and stainless steel like these people that are buying these houses are never actually going to use them for their, like their kitchens or anything. Like they don't have people cooking for them. Like I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say. Steel <laughs> cabinets. Of course, this house was meant to entertain guests. So, in addition to guest quarters, there is a 20-seat personal theater, extensive wine storage, and more. It also includes several decks and patios and an infinity pool that overlooks the ocean. Oh, could you imagine, like, just one day you're just bored and then all of a sudden you're like, well, I'll go into the infinity pool and you're just, you're sitting right there, right there at the edge, just looking at the sea. Like, oh, my days. I'm looking at a paddling pool right now. <laughs> we need to start working. We need to start working, Evan. Oh, my God. <laughs> the listing refers to it as the epitome of the resort lifestyle. When the residents want to swim, they meander down a tree-lined path that leads to a private beach. They can also play a game of tennis on the personal tennis court or park in the subterranean eight. <laughs> like two of the same car. Why not? Why? Do you know what? I got a black one, but you know what? I'll just have a silver one instead. Why not? Instead of just wrapping it. But anyway, if you've got 115 million to spend in the house, you can do that kind of stuff, I suppose. A car garage. In case you're curious about the owner of this Malibu estate, it belongs to David Saperstein, who is worth approximately $1.5 billion. Ah. <laughs> there we go. There we go. 
family and dropped out of college in his 20s in order to sell used cars. While working this low-wage job, he had the idea to sell traffic reports to local radio stations. Though it ultimately lost him his job at the Ford dealership, Saperstein founded Metro Networks, which eventually sold information to over 1,500 radio stations. Of course, traffic information is readily available on everyone's smartphone these days, but Saperstein made the wise decision to sell his shares of Metro Networks in 1999 for a sum of $1.25 billion. Jeez, my man is... <laughs> What the hell? But you know, I kind of respect the hustle. Like, he came from no money and he worked his way up. So, you have to respect that. And he deserves all the success because he made it on his own. So, hats off to you, man. I, I know you're watching this video. I know you're watching it. <laughs> Days, he keeps a low profile and spends most of his time at his luxurious estate in Malibu. With such an amazing property, it's easy to understand why he is hesitant to leave. He's also active in philanthropy, donating millions of dollars to the Cedars Sinai Hospital and Milken Day School. Okay, this guy, this guy is actually a bit of a hero. He's actually classy. At least he's given something back. In Los Angeles, even with a $115 million price tag, this is far from the most expensive home in California. That honor belongs to the enormous Chartwell Estate, which sold for $150 million in. Oh my days! $150 million for a garden with a lot of patterns on it like <laughs> someone's been robbed <laughs> December 2019 the massive 11 bed 18 bath property belongs to Lachlan Murdoch the that's actually horrible <laughs> did you see that hang on let's just let's go back here hang on let's go hang on 19 the massive 11 the state of that <laughs> I'm sorry 150 million and you're getting something like that Ah, uh, here, I want my money back. I want my money back if I paid that. Genie Mac. Open bed 18 bath property belongs to Lachlan Murdoch, the son of media magnate Rupert Murdoch. This incredible home has a 12,000 bottle wine cellar, a 75 foot swimming pool, acres of private gardens, and secret underground tunnels. The estate, known as Chartwell, has a storied history. Its exterior was used in the credits of the Beverly Hillbillies TV series. It was built in the 1930s and later owned by Chicago hotelier Arnold Kirkaby. Of course. Jerry Parencio bought it in 1986 for 14 million and over time added three adjacent parcels of land. In 2016, he acquired the neighbouring former home of Ronald and Nancy Regan, which was also included when Murdoch purchased the property. The estate had originally been listed for $350 million, but got a price cut to $195 million, and then to its final sale price, which was... Imagine you thinking your house is worth $300 million, <laughs> and then some, some fella comes along from the estate agent going, Nah, mate, cut that in half, it's only worth $150. <laughs> I'd be fuming, fuming. 150 million. The estate used to house three separate buildings, but one was bulldozed to accommodate a driveway and another was demolished in place of a grassy helipad. The estate's formal dining room, with seating for 18, has panelled walls imported from Europe and date to the mid 1700s. The morning room has a mint green vaulted lattice ceiling that was constructed in Paris, shipped in sections, and reassembled inside the room. The curtains identically match the floral wallpaper. This is in addition to a garden room, which features gold panels imported directly from Japan. Rupert Murdoch is known as the controversial owner of many newspapers around the world, such as The Sun and The... Down with The Sun. Down with The Sun. We don't like The Sun on this channel. We don't like The Sun on this channel. We don't like tabloids that uh, exploit people. So, uh, boo, you don't deserve any of it. Your house is shite, mate. Your house is shite. Times, in addition to numerous television outlets like Fox News and Sky News Australia. His son Lachlan followed in his father's footsteps. He is the co-chairman of News Corp and the CEO of Fox News. Despite fewer people relying on TV news, business seems to be good for the Murdochs, allowing them to buy pristine property around the globe. Be sure to hit the subscribe button to learn more about lavish homes all... Oh my god. Well, <laughs> there's no shortage of money with these people, let me tell you. My god. I really start getting to work. So what you guys need to do is subscribe. Come on guys, look at this amazing content I'm giving you. Like you just cannot live without it. Look what I'm doing for the community. Yeah, just subscribe if you haven't already and hopefully I could be a millionaire like that too and I could bring up every single subscriber around for a party. I'm telling you now, if I have money to buy a big fancy millionaire house, every single one of my subscribers are invited to a house party. I am saying this right now on the channel. So you can call me out in 10 years time. I'm telling you now, subscribe so we can get a big massive house party going. Let's go. All right. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. 
I, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in another video. Good luck!